Hello and welcome to Working with Miniatures. I'm Jim and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Iowata HP BH. Right after we clean up this horse and donkey. The Iowata HPBH is a dual action gravity fed airbrush with an H2 or a .02 millimeter needle which is ideal for fine work such as when painting miniatures. The packaging contains lubricant for the moving parts and a small wrench to remove the nozzle for cleaning. This is where most of your clogs will occur and why it's crucial to thin your paints, especially with finer needles such as this one. The valve below the paint well controls how much air is allowed through the airbrush when the trigger is pushed down. The knob on the back adjusts the amount of paint sprayed when you pull the trigger back. For a general demonstration of the airbrush, I add some carbon black paint from the Golden High Flow Acrylics line. This is paint is very thin and does not need any additional thinning for use in an airbrush with a needle this size or larger. Being a dual action airbrush, you can get tapered sprays like this by starting with full pressure and paint flow, then easing off both at the same time. If this doesn't make sense, come back for my next airbrush video which will explain how an airbrush works and how to use them. Afterwards I adjust the rear knob which reduces the paint allowed through the airbrush. Even at a greatly reduced volume of air and paint, you can still get small tapered lines as seen here. I've been using a 20 year old Iowata HPC Plus with an H3 or 0.03 millimeter needle for priming and zenithal highlights before I decided to purchase this Iowata HP BH. With an MSRP of 300 US dollars this was not a decision I made lightly. Compared alongside the HPC Plus they are both dual action airbrushes that are gravity fed and break down and clean up the same. They both have the same needle break on the back to adjust the flow of paint and they have the same style of nozzle guard, nozzle cap and nozzle on the front. So let's talk about where my money went by adding this to my modeling collection. First, it's an Iowata, so partly I paid for the brand. The only other differences between the two models are a smaller needle, a smaller paint reservoir, and the air pressure control valve below the paint well. The real question is, was this airbrush worth it and do you need it? Absolutely not. I actually purchased this airbrush several months ago and I've only really used it in my previous video where I painted She-Hulk from the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures game. That means I dropped the equivalent of a car payment for a box to collect dust on a shelf thus far. With that said, I have nothing but good things to say about it. Not being new to Iowata, I knew what I was getting when I purchased this and I intend to start using it a lot more so it will pay for itself by saving me time. As I age, I have come to the realization that the value of my time is directly related to how old I am and how much money I make. The more money I can spend to save me time and effort, the more value I get out of something. Couple this with my intention to paint at least 100 models next year, then maybe my investment in this airbrush becomes worth it. However, I do not recommend starting with Iowata airbrushes, but if you do, and you'll be mainly painting small to medium sized miniatures, then skip the 0.03mm needle brush or larger and go straight to the 0.02mm. It's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or maybe you were convinced to buy or not buy this airbrush. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time. I bid you a fond farewell. Until the next video.